Okay, welcome. Welcome to another video. Uh, in the previous video, we have shown you that how you can actually uh, install Emacs. And in this video, we're going to show you that how you can actually uh, get into Emacs and uh, install different themes. Because right now, you can see that Emacs has a white background, right? So if we go ahead and if we try to open up any file uh, inside Emacs, let's say open file, and we go to our desktop and on our desktop we have program.py uh, which is a python program file okay so this is for the factorial and you can see that this factorial program has been loaded into emacs right now okay so you can see that we have some purple and blue colors and some red colors inside of it with a white background so this is a default you can say theme okay so for for emacs so what if you want to change um to different themes okay so emacs the current version of emacs has a, a pure list of themes uh, which you can use so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna put the you know the list of those themes in the description so that it could be easy for you um while changing themes okay so first of all uh in order to uh work with the themes what you've got to do is you have to uh press alt plus x okay so when you press alt x you can see right here uh this kind of window uh it has become editable okay so now you can write things inside of it so let me just write here load hyphen theme okay so when i hit enter you can see that it says load custom theme okay so now what i can do that out of the list for this version of emacs i can put any name and that theme will basically be loaded here so there is a very um famous theme which we call as mysterioso um and i'm gonna write here mysterioso i hit enter and you can see that the theme has been changed right so if you want to you know move on to another theme you can also do that how would you do it you'd press alt x again you can see that it has become editable again and in here you will again write load theme you hit enter and now you can see that it is um, asking for the name of the custom theme so you write here let's say a d w a i t a okay so there is this is another theme so you hit enter and you can see that now this theme has been loaded right so you press alt x again and let's try to load another theme let's write here load hyphen theme we hit enter and uh, we write here light blue so we hit enter and you can see that now the theme has been changed to light blue okay so there is another popular theme you know there is basically uh there are a lot of themes that we can try um i'm gonna put the link uh, or i'm gonna put the list of those themes in the description that you can try on your own so now what if you want to disable uh, themes okay so for example if you want to disable this theme right here so what you have to do is you just have to write here disable hyphen theme okay so you hit enter and now it says that uh, what is the theme name that you want to disable so let's say we want to disable light blue so we hit enter and you can see that the light blue theme has been disabled and it has moved back to the theme that we enabled previously and that theme was Adveta. okay so now let's say if we want to disable that as well we'll press alt x and uh, we would basically make it a little bit bigger and in here we're gonna type disable theme we hit enter and basically it asks us the name of the uh, custom theme that we want to disable so now we'd write here adveta we hit enter and you can see that now the adveta theme has been disabled and now it has moved to 
moved back to the theme uh, which was misterioso right so now if you want to disable that as well all you have to do is that you have to write here disable theme and then put in the name of that theme misterioso like this let me just yes and then you hit enter and you can see that now it has moved back to its initial state it, this is the default theme uh, that you will get okay so now basically you have seen that how you can uh, change the themes uh, i'm going to put all the list of the themes in the description and you can actually try other themes as well okay so there is another thing uh, which is basically changing the background color so you can change the background color as well by using set background color uh, command um, so what you can do is that there are various background colors available but they are not effective because uh, with the the problem with the background colors is that only the background color will be changed and this text color won't be changed according to the uh, background color as in themes you know um, when you change the theme the color of the text or the color of the font changes as well and the background color changes as well while when you're changing the background color only the background color changes and sometimes you won't be able to see the text uh, because of the contrast okay so now let's press Control uh, alt x excuse me so we press alt x and uh, we go in here so before that we can actually see that what is the list of background colors so we write here list uh, and then we write here colors then we write here display okay so we hit enter and you can see that these are the background colors available so let us change the color to red so what we have to do is we need to press alt x and uh, after pressing alt x we need to write here set background color we hit enter and now it is going to ask us for the color so let's say we write here red so now you can see that the color has been changed and uh, obviously uh, we can see the text but it is very light okay so if we change the color to something like let's say um, yellow then in that case let's see what happens so we write here set background color let me just make it bigger so that you can see and then we hit enter and again if we go here and if we write here yellow so now you can see uh, this is more visible but um, if I change the color to black I press alt X and I write here set background color and then I write here black so I hit enter and you can see that all the text is visible just you can see here uh, there are few things which are not visible for example equal sign the digit which is here but we cannot see that because of the background color right and in here the same case as well we have factorial here but we are unable to see it right because of the background color so that is the problem uh, with the background color so uh, i would suggest to you that you stick with the themes because uh, it has a lot of uh, beautiful themes that you would like okay so back to the white color um, and there is another thing that you can do so let me just close this emacs and while opening emacs if you are sitting in sunshine where the light is very uh, you know uh, the sunlight is you know dominating and you you cannot even see something on your screen in most probably with the white background you won't be able to see that so what you can do is that uh, because that black background entirely was not working so what you can do is that you can write here reverse and then video okay so you hit enter now it would open up emacs uh, in black sort of thing in in something like this with the black uh, with the black background 
So now if I go to desktop and I try to open the code, now you would be able to see that everything is visible including 7 because now what we have done is that we have not changed the background color. What we have done is that we have opened the Emacs in this mode reverse video. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. You have learned something new for written articles. You can keep visiting our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video.